It's my honor to welcome three of the world's leading technology CEOs. And together, these world-leading technology giants are announcing the formation of Stargate, what if I told you that a single announcement has just set the stage for one of the most ambitious projects in human history? OpenAI, backed by tech giants like SoftBank, Oracle, and NVIDIA, has launched what they are calling the Stargate Project. This initiative isn't just big, it's $500 billion big. That's half a trillion dollars invested in creating a centralized AI infrastructure designed to unlock the potential of Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. The announcement was made at the White House with President Trump, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, and SoftBank's Masayoshi Son standing shoulder to shoulder. Altman even called it the most important project of this era, while Son described it as the beginning of a golden age. This sets the tone for what OpenAI envisions as not just a technological leap, but a transformation in national security, healthcare, and economic growth. But what is the Stargate Project, and why is it being compared to historical milestones like the Manhattan Project and the Apollo Program? Let's break it down. At its core, the Stargate Project is about infrastructure, AI infrastructure to be exact. OpenAI is partnering with tech heavyweights like Oracle, NVIDIA, and Microsoft to build cutting-edge computing systems in the United States. Their ultimate goal? To develop AGI, AI that can outperform humans at most economically valuable tasks, and, eventually, artificial superintelligence which surpasses human capabilities altogether. But this project isn't just about technological ambition, it's about scale. The first construction site is already underway in Texas, and Altman promises this initiative will create hundreds of thousands of jobs while reindustrializing the U.S. economy. This isn't just a tech story, it's an economic and geopolitical one. And if you're wondering where this $500 billion is coming from, SoftBank is taking the lead as the primary financial backer. This massive funding pool also includes resources from OpenAI, Oracle, and MGX, making it one of the largest private investments ever. So, why does this matter? Because if OpenAI succeeds, the Stargate project could redefine what's possible in industries like healthcare, defense, and even climate science. Let's talk impact. Advocates of the Stargate project believe it has the potential to revolutionize industries and solve some of the world's biggest challenges. Take healthcare, for example. Oracle's Larry Ellison has highlighted how Stargate could lead to breakthroughs in personalized medicine, including mRNA vaccines and cancer treatments. Imagine AI systems capable of predicting pandemics or creating tailored therapies for individual patients. These aren't just dreams, they're practical goals tied to this initiative. Beyond healthcare, the project promises to drive economic growth. By building centralized AI infrastructure in the United States, OpenAI aims to spark a new wave of industrialization. The job creation alone is expected to be massive, with benefits rippling across multiple sectors. This isn't just about building better AI, it's about using that AI to build a better economy. And let's not forget national security. In a world where technological dominance often translates to geopolitical power, the Stargate project positions the US as a leader in the global AI race. Proponents argue that this kind of centralized investment is essential for maintaining a competitive edge against nations like China. But not everyone is convinced, and that brings us to the other side of the story. For every supporter of the Stargate project, there is a critic questioning its necessity, cost, and direction. One of the most vocal skeptics is none other than Elon Musk. Musk, who co-founded OpenAI but has since parted ways, claims that SoftBank, the primary financial backer, has secured well under $10 billion of the $500 billion needed. He's taken to his social platform X to voice his concerns, sparking a heated back and forth with Sam Altman. Funding isn't the only concern. Critics argue that OpenAI's approach is outdated and overly reliant on massive centralized infrastructure. Take China's DeepSeek R1 as an example. Released earlier this week under an open source MIT license, DeepSeek matches or even outperforms OpenAI's own models on certain benchmarks, at just 3% of the cost. This has led some to question whether OpenAI is over-engineering a problem that others are solving more efficiently. And then there's the philosophical divide, centralized versus decentralized AI. 
While OpenAI bets big on infrastructure, companies like High Flyer Capital in China are proving that lean, agile, and open source strategies can yield comparable results. The question is, which approach will win in the end? This debate isn't just about technology, it's about the future of AI itself. Proponents of centralized systems like Stargate argue that massive infrastructure is essential for unlocking AGI and addressing global challenges like healthcare and climate change. They see Stargate as a strategic imperative, not just for OpenAI, but for the US as a whole. Critics, however, point to the success of decentralized, open source models as evidence that centralization may not be necessary or even viable. They compare the current AI race to the rivalry between Apple and Microsoft in the 1980s and 1990s. Apple's vertically integrated approach ultimately lost market dominance to Microsoft's more accessible and cost-efficient systems. Could OpenAI face a similar fate? And then there's the issue of accessibility. While centralized systems promise powerful solutions, they also risk consolidating control in the hands of a few major players. Open source models, by contrast, democratize AI development, making cutting-edge technology available to a wider range of users and innovators. This philosophical divide isn't just shaping the AI industry, it's shaping the future of global power dynamics. Let's talk about geopolitics, because ultimately, it's a global chess match. The Stargate project positions itself as a strategic countermeasure to China's rapidly advancing AI capabilities, especially after the release of DeepSeek R1. Unlike OpenAI's centralized approach, DeepSeek is decentralized, open source, and cost-effective, raising serious questions about whether the US can maintain its lead in the AI race. But Stargate isn't just about keeping up with China. It's a bold vision to reindustrialize America, creating jobs and rebranding the manufacturing and tech sectors. This ties directly into national security priorities under Trump's administration, emphasizing self-reliance and global dominance. Proponents argue that controlling the next wave of AI technology isn't just about economic power, it's about safeguarding America's role as a leader on the world stage. Critics, however, see the cracks in this narrative. They question whether such an enormous concentration of resources is the best way forward. Some worry that it could widen the gap between nations with access to advanced AI and those without, leading to global inequities. Others argue that the rise of decentralized models like DeepSeek show that inclusivity, not centralization, may be the path to true innovation. This philosophical divide, centralized versus decentralized AI, is shaping not just industry strategies, but also global policies. The world is watching, and the stakes couldn't be higher. What happens if Stargate fails? With $500 billion on the line, failure isn't just an option, it's a looming fear for skeptics. The most pressing concern? Overreach. Clients warn that if leaner, decentralized models like DeepSeek continue to gain traction, Stargate could be seen as a bloated, outdated investment. After all, why would companies or governments pay a premium for OpenAI's infrastructure when cheaper open-source alternatives deliver comparable results? The economic consequences of such a misstep would be monumental. If Stargate fails to deliver on its promises, it risks not only wasting resources, but also diverting attention from more agile and innovative AI strategies. This could damage America's position in the global AI race, giving countries like China the upper hand. Strategically, the fallout could extend far beyond technology. A failed Stargate project might undermine public and private confidence in large-scale U.S. initiatives, making it harder to rally support for future transformative projects. The question then becomes, can OpenAI afford to gamble everything on Stargate, or is the AI industry moving too fast for centralized systems to keep up? Despite the risks, let's imagine for a moment that Stargate succeeds. What would that mean? For starters, it could revolutionize industries across the board. Think about it. AI systems capable of creating personalized cancer treatments, predicting pandemics before they spread, or engineering solutions to climate change. The possibilities are staggering. Economically, the project could reindustrialize the US, bringing back manufacturing jobs and creating entirely new industries centralized around advanced AI. And from a geopolitical standpoint, Stargate could cement America's dominance in AI ensuring that the U.S. leads the charge in addressing global challenges. But perhaps the most profound impact is symbolic. If Stargate succeeds, it will signal that the U.S. still has the vision, 
resources, and ambition to lead on the global stage. It's a defining moment, not just for OpenAI, but for humanity's relationship with artificial intelligence. Now, we've covered a lot. What do you think? Is the Stargate project the key to America's AI dominance, or is it just a costly gamble that could backfire? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.